Hello, I'm Shane Baker. I'm Candiai County Attorney. Uh, our county seat's Wilmer, Minnesota. We're a county of 42,000 people. Uh, we got Carpel in July 2021, and it's been a great addition to our office processes. I'd say two of the biggest changes are on how we are working and doing our work is first with our discovery, the reports that are coming in. They're immediately coming into the system. It makes it easier for the legal assistants to prepare those for discovery, attorneys can review them quickly, and off to defense attorneys. It's very helpful too as you're in court trying to deal with it. You don't necessarily need the files. You can have your screen up and pull up documents quickly if you need to. That's worked out great instead of fumbling around into a paper file. With that too, it's also allowed for more remote working possibilities. I'll just use the courtroom example. It's not necessarily what we think of as remote, but it allows, again, like I said, not to have that file process and you have it right at your fingertips. And sometimes, unfortunately, one of the features Carpel has is knowing when you sent the materials off to Defense Council, that has come in very handy, saying when they've downloaded it and we've been able to inform the court of that. It allows for adjustments on the fly as far as scheduling goals. We live in Minnesota, we might have odd weather situations. Um, or staff being sick, people are able to work remotely from home and have all the materials at their fingertips without us having to worry about scheduling adjusting or anything of that kind. Victim services. Uh, one of the things we've had that's really great is the capacity for texts to come in. So we can see whole conversations and it's saved right into the system. You know immediately what their questions are, responses. With other capabilities, we're able to download victim impact statements, affidavits for restitution, and get those filed in a more expeditious manner, much more efficient too. It allows for handling multiple files with um, communications going out that much quickly, whether it's letters to them and so forth. In working with courts, it's kind of odd what's, what's different and what's how has it changed our interaction with them it's more learning how they enter their data and how they do their things. Because it's not waiting for them to send us the court order or notice of hearing and having a process that's paper for that. But if those codes are correct, it drops into your system almost immediately. Myself have attended some hearings where you do that at about say 11 o'clock and by into one o'clock you're seen populate on your Outlook calendar the next hearing. And that's an exciting feature that it's almost real-time activity on, on the file. I'm the county attorney, so I am responsible for case assignments and duties of that for a smaller attorney office. Where it's been very effective is I know the caseloads of all the attorneys on the office within seconds, I can, well, minutes. I can enter the queries, find out their caseloads and what those cases are, and then make assignments based on that, where before that was, uh, frankly, an hours long project just to see. So it's allowed me to keep the staff set even caseloads, which is very exciting. And you also see the files that aren't getting closed out or that there's some issues remaining on just things that have slipped through, because there are always things that slip through and you can catch those more readily.